So you're given this jar of marbles, and this is one of those games where you have to try to guess how many marbles are in the jar. And say, for example, you guess that there's 83 marbles, but in actuality, there's only 80 marbles, and you want to calculate what's your percent error. So how do you do that? Well, the formula you want to use here is the percent error is the error divided by the actual amount. So the error means like how far off are you? Well, you guessed 83, there was actually 80, so you were actually off by three marbles. Compared to what though? Compared to how many there were actually in the jar. So it's gonna be three divided by 80. Let's go to the calculator on that, see what that comes out to. So three divided by 80, which is 0 0.0375, and we wanna just move that decimal place two places to the right to convert it to a percentage. So it's a 3.75% error. Now, if you're talking about percent change, say for example, you uh, go to the store and the original price of an item is $40, but then the next time you go, the new price is $52. And you just wanna figure out, well, what percent change is that? Well, when you do percent change, you want the new amount minus the original amount divided by the original amount. So what you're doing is you're figuring out how much is it changing by, okay, new minus original, divided by what it was to begin with. Not the new price, but the original price. So let's go ahead and do that. So the new price is $52 minus $40 divided by the original price, because we want to see how it changed compared to how it was. So this comes out to 12 divided by 40. Let's go to the calculator again, and that comes out to uh, 0.3. And we just want to move that decimal place two places to the right. We're going to put a placeholder here, so it comes out to 30%. Now this is a 30% increase. If this quantity here came out negative, that would be a percent decrease, and you got it. If you're reviewing your pre-algebra skills, check out my pre-algebra review video right over there, and I'll see you in that video.